everyone, wherever you are, whenever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I wish you a happy and tranquil life uh, wherever you are, with your family and your friends and your colleagues. Today we are going to talk about another very difficult subject called identity. Identity is not an easy subject to discuss, especially with young people or with anyone. Uh, identity for me is like a structure. It's a building, very complicated building. That actually you build, you build a, 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 a building, okay, residential, you build the mall, it's very well structured. The identity is a very well structured building inside the soul of the man and the woman, made out of different components, physiological as well as psychological ones, and spirituals. All these components are mixed together, connected, 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 connected. Identity reflects your incubator inside the family as an incubator or inside the society. There is moral incubator inside the family and cultural incubator inside the society. Also, identity reflects your educational system. What did you learn in the school? Reflects the character of the teachers. How did they behave with you? Reflects the philosophical ideology of the society you are living in. Reflects the values, the belief, and the moral system of the society that you are living at. It also reflects its outside appearance reflects for everybody else the dimension of the depth of a man in the heart of the man and the woman. The more you believe, the more you become good to everyone else and caring for everyone else. It reflects the impact of the community changes on you as well. It reflects as well the performance of your senses, especially when you face challenges, how you behave, how you speak, how you listen to hear, how you behave with them. All these senses reflect your identity. When especially when you as an individual, male or female, face challenges and face problems, social problems. Identity is as well, is like a system, structured system, multi-dimensional system, cross-cutting one another. I cannot draw it by my hand, which might not be understood by ordinary people and by many people. Identity could be solid, steady, clear, and apparent, and everyone can see it the normal, I mean the public, as well as the people who are very highly educated. And it reflects how the individual actually use his Iman to represent his or her identity. Also, identity in some people could be hidden. Sometimes certain individuals do not like to expose their identity for certain reasons. Identity is another performance. We weigh such a performance with the scale of the uh, weight of the responsibility carried on the shoulder of every one of us. Identity also is like a path. Path for whom? It creates a path of the society. With your identity, you pave the path of the society. 
and it creates the path of the citizens inside such a society. It depends on the leadership or the identity of the leadership. The price of identity or the price of keeping identity could be your life. And this is what happened in the good old days with messengers and believers. Identity is one of the signs inside the path of the road map. And if we have a road map or road maps, and in such signs, such road maps, many paths, identity is landmark inside all these paths inside the road maps that we create to build the future uh, for our society and build the future generation. Identity has steady principles. Structure, it's internal structure or build its internal structure and it has outside appearances. Could sometimes change with the change of the social changes. With change affecting the society. We have received quite a few questions which I will answer them now. How can you express your identity and hold tight to it? By manner, by behavior, by performance, not by speeches, not by code of dress. As Hazrat Aisha anha was talking about the Prophet Sallallahu his manner his, his manner was Quranic. And he was like a walking Quran on earth. Another question was or is why we have to hold fast to our identity and our belief? Because it is me. I'm talking about myself. When we started Islamic Relief 40 years ago, we chose in the name of Islamic Relief because we are Muslims, whether we are in the West or in the East, North or the South. Then the designer designed the logo. The logo of Islamic Relief is like the globe and the two minarets at the top. A big discussion from the French Office of Islamic Relief and some other offices is trying to remove or to change the name of Islamic Relief. We said no. We are going to keep the name and let everybody else understand how can they work with professional Islamic organization. The following question is, how can we hold fast our identity in the West and we do not lose it if we connect and communicate with one another, if we bond with one another, if we teach one another as Muslims or as Christian or as other people who have faith, have of faith. So to try to strengthen ourselves, if we are confident in our belief. Once upon a time, I was giving a khutbah in Aston University in Birmingham. And I was wearing jalabiya, dress, long dress, uh, with a coat, a heavy coat at the time, with a toby on my head, and a scarf. And after finishing uh, the khutbah, I was walking from the Aston University to the city center to take the bus to go back home. At that time, we did not have cars. I was busy making dhikr. I was very confident toward this code of dress. But inside, I was very confident in myself and my belief. And three or four young boys wanted to make mockery of me or to fool me. So one of them 
uh, put his uh, foot in, in front of my foot to let me fall down. You know what happened? There was somebody else with me to protect me because I was making very busy making zikr. It was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of a sudden I found, I looked down, I found a young man is falling underneath my, my, my feet. I pulled him up. I didn't know that they are actually trying to make fun of me. Don't ever be shy of expressing yourself the way you are. If you ask about myself or other people, we still keep our Egyptian accent when we speak English. We still love the fool and ta'maya and we talk about it proudly. We're still introducing our songs, our Arabic language, our Arabic metaphor to others. Be confident in your identity. The more you believe in your values, the more you become confident about your identity, your culture, your history, your code of dress, your color, your tongue, your history, your civilization. Another question is, what is the difference between holding fast to your identity or just showing it? Another example happened. We were traveling in an airplane and one of the young, excited, hot-headed, emotionally disturbed young man wanted to make a prayer. Sometimes people make it in this space between the toilet or sometimes in the corridor. And he made it in the corridor. Oh my God. It was, oh, cannot be acceptable. Cannot be acceptable. Cannot be acceptable. Because he is trying to show others that this is my identity, I'm very proud of it, but he is disturbing others' freedom. And this is wrong. I tell you who suffer more in the West when they have, they want to keep their identity? Female more than male. Because in the West, everybody can grow beard, whether they are socialist, you're a communist, or you're atheist, or whatever, and Muslims. But when you put hijab, veil on your head, you are a Muslim. And I pray for our sisters, because they suffer more than we, than we suffer when they keep their identity. My identity is my belief, and my identity is my manner and my behavior. Identity is not a talk. Identity is not a lecture. Identity is not a code of dress, or the color of the mascara of the eyes, or the gingy beard, we we'll, we'll dye our hair or dye our uh, Beard, identity is behavior, is performance, is helping, is a manner, is welcome. Identity is love. If you love your community, they will love your identity. What is the importance of holding tight to the identity of Islam? As I said earlier on, identity is not a code of this, it's not white this, or green this, or black this, it's not stri uh, 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 striking on your, on your chest with, uh, with your hand, or slapping your face, or tearing your clothes. No. It's not a demonstration. No. Identity is help, is care, is love. Is, is uh, uh, compassion to other people. Is wishing the best for yourself as well as the other community. Is sharing, caring, guiding, teaching, educating, building, cleaning, clearing. This is identity. That's why Aisha was always saying, Kana Quran. 
Prophet and his manner was Quran. And he was a walking Quran on earth. Be that man, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Make yourself, your identity is Quran. That's what we need to make, whether you are a male or female, sisters or brothers. Be good to your family. Be good to your neighbor. Be good to your friends. Be good to everybody else. This is identity. And when people love your behavior and your manner, they love your deen. And this is very powerful da'wah. That is what I, be, I believe identity is. Identity is not a speech anymore. Anymore. Identity is the amount of love you want to show to your enemy that you convert your enemy to a friend. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌ حَمِيمٌ So this kind of love to your enemy, okay, makes him to become your friend. Later on. And this is the dimension of identity based on the depth of belief that you have or we have in our heart. Thank you very much, and I'll see you later in another episode, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.